Today, we're diving into an incredible tool that combines the power of Perplexity AI with DeepSeek's R1, creating one of the most powerful research and automation systems available. Now, whether you need in-depth market analysis or maybe academic research summaries, real-time financial insights, or maybe automated competitor research, this tool can streamline your workflow and boost productivity. So we're just going to walk through step-by-step -step how to use DeepSeek R1 and demonstrate its reasoning capabilities and explore how it can automate complex tasks and specifically research tasks with Perplexity AI. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is select the DeepSeek R1 inside of Perplexity AI. So currently under the free plan, you can have, I believe it's three searches every single day, or you could upgrade to the pro plan where you will get access to much more queries. So if you're already on Perplexity Pro, all you really need to do is just click on Reasoning with R1 and you're pretty much all set up. Now, let's just explore how we can actually use DeepSeek's R1 with Perplexity to automate some research process for us. So let's say that we're a consultant working with a fintech startup and we need to analyze some recent fintech regulatory changes. So we're just going to prompt Perplexity with something that I'm just going to paste here that I already came up with earlier. So I'm going to say find the latest financial regulations impacting fintech startups. Include updates on compliance requirements, major penalties issued, and government policies affecting payment processing. Provide the links to authoritative sources. So I'm just going to go ahead and search, and you'll see right here, it's already providing us with some researching and some of the logic and what's actually going on in the back end. So we'll see that it's first starting up with the researching, and then it's going into the reasoning, which it hasn't come up with yet. And you'll tell that it does take a second to process, obviously, but you know that's just because it's providing so much reasoning logic behind. So we see it's beginning the analysis it's first looking at result one taking a look at the research that it's first finding and then using the reasoning which is a um, pretty interesting approach so it's talking about european instant payments regulation okay so we can see that right now it's combining real-time web searches with the logical reasoning to just structure a pretty comprehensive analysis. So, I mean, it's pulling the in-time real data in official regulatory changes and other relevant legal proceedings or precedents. This really just ensures that the information is going to be accurate and up-to-date. And that's the biggest reason why we're using perplexity with this on top of, you know, a few other reasons. Another one being that DeepSeek is actually built within China, if you haven't already heard of, which I'm sure it's been drilled into your brain by now. So do be careful if you're actually using only DeepSeek on their own platform and not on something like Perplexity. So do be careful when you're giving up your company data because they do mention that they can use the data when necessary. Anyways, let's just take a look at this answer. So it says the FinTech regulatory landscape in 25 is marked by significant updates across compliance requirements and enforcement actions and policy shifts. So here's a structured overview. So the key regulatory updates we see right here, first one being US regulatory shifts, Second, European Union, the UK, global AML slash CFT enforcement. So the major penalties within here. So we see TD Bank, Block, Evolve Bank. So this is very in-depth and it's definitely a lot longer than what the regular perplexity output would normally generate. And that's simply just because of the R1 reasoning that we had just employed. So, I mean, it goes without saying that one of the most powerful features within R1, its ability to actually reason and think critically and break down complex problems step by step. For example, let's take a look at a different hypothetical. So let's say we're a corporate strategist researching emerging markets so instead of just listing out reports and everything we're going to type in this we're going to say analyze the growth trajectory of electric vehicle adoption in southeast asia compare consumer trends government incentives and key industry players provide investment risks and opportunities so i'm going to go and paste this in once again and we'll see of course it's starting off with the research so using perplexities you know bread and butter right here and then it's going to later get into the reasoning with r1 so the biggest thing it's not just retrieving the links it's analyzing everything like market positioning, identifying the emerging trends and providing a strategic overview that would normally take hours to compile manually even longer. Okay, so we just got our output back. It is saying the electric vehicle market in Southeast Asia is experiencing rapid growth driven by government policies, shifting consumer preferences and aggressive investments from global automakers. Below is a structured analysis of the region's EV adoption trajectory, including consumer trends, incentives, key players and investment considerations. So we see here, it provides a pretty in-depth description of the consumer trends with sources right here. The government incentives right here, so it's providing Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines and Vietnam, 
here's some of the key industry players, which it is still actually generating. So again, this does take a second, but it's a much better alternative than doing this research yourself. I mean, look at all these different sources right here. Each one is its own entity website, I should say, which is um, super impressive. Now we're going to even break this down into another example. So let's say we're a startup founder. We're looking for the latest venture capitalist movements. We're going to prompt something. I'm just going to paste this in again. So summarize recent venture capitalist investments in AI driven robotic startups. So include funding amounts, notable investors and emerging trends in automation. So I'll come back to you guys once again, once it generates this output, because it will take about 30 seconds. Okay, we just got our answer back, it took about 30 seconds. So recent venture capitalist investments in AI driven robotics highlights surging interest in next generation automation with 1.3 billion deployed in January 25 alone across key startups. So here's that breakdown right here. We have Skilled AI, Seriact, so free shout outs to all these companies. Here's some of the notable investors. Jeff Bezos is up there, NVIDIA, of course, SoftBank, Intel Capital, you know, just providing us a huge synopsis, a very great description and standing of everything that we asked for. Now, let's take this even further. So let's get into something a little bit more complex. So I'm actually going to have this model do some coding for us and build something out for us. Now, if we were to try doing something like this within ChatGPT, we wouldn't be able to visually see what it's building. So what I'm going to say is create an HTML plus JavaScript tool that calculates logistics, cost based on shipping, distance, the weight and delivery urgency. So keep it lightweight and easy to integrate into any website. So we can see that right here, it's providing us with the research right away, as we have seen before. So it's finding some examples of lightweight logistics costs for the calculator for reference, gathering information on integrating JavaScript tools into websites. Now it's already beginning the reasoning. So it's just kind of analyzing everything that it's really taking from the research. Okay, so it's just finishing that up. If we scroll up, uh, I guess it won't provide us a, maybe you have to open this. Okay, we can see that it went through a pretty lengthy process to provide us with what we are asking for in our request. So we can see all the logic. So finally testing the code with different inputs to ensure it works correctly. So let's see what it actually comes back with. We can see this long line of code and we might even have to wait a little bit longer for it to fully finish generating, but we could dive into a little bit of these. So right away, it's saying I need to create an HTML in JavaScript tool for calculating logistics costs. So it's analyzing the task at hand. It says the user wants it to be lightweight. So just kind of giving itself some prompting. In the search results, it sees several examples. So finding what was in the research. Let's go ahead and see what we have outputted here. So we see the key features. We have simple integration, dynamic calculation, usage. So simply copy the entire code block. So now we just want to actually test out this code. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this out and I'm going to see what it actually built for me. So I'm going to go to the website liveweave.com and all I will do is I'm going to type this in and we can see on the bottom right we have logistics cost calculator so we could type in the weight we could type in the distance and delivery urgency and this took me what maybe 30 seconds to actually build out which is absolutely insane and kind of hard to fathom myself even though it's right in front of me but yeah you kind of get the picture so I mean it's just returning a detailed script with explanations for each function that we're asking for and allowing us to automate really anything with super minimal effort. Now, deep seek and perplexity. This can also be used to track breaking news and industry movements in real time. Let's say you're a global economist and you want to stay ahead of international trade developments. So, I mean, we could go back to perplexity and for you to say something like find the latest international trade policies affecting US and European exports, then summarize economic impacts and provide trade agreement updates. So I'll just type this in and we'll see. It's going to go through the same exact approach. So the researching, then it's going to go through the reasoning. We're not just using this for for research purposes. I mean, of course, this is probably going to be one of the most common use cases, but I mean, if you see here, we've built out this calculator in maybe a minute. I mean, you could build out entire websites if you would like, really. So let's see if this is finished. So it's finding there's a memo from President Trump about the America first trade policy, looking at the EU's response, then the EU is considering some retaliatory tariffs. So just providing me with some really in-depth stuff on the latest technology, or I'm sorry, the latest trends. So I mean, ultimately just scanning the news sources, analyzing these trends, providing structured insights and allowing you to actually stay informed without sifting through dozens of articles, which is mind blowing. Similarly, if you're an AI researcher, you might ask something like, I'm going to paste this in, summarize breakthroughs in AI generated medical diagnostics and include the clinical trials, regulatory approvals and key institutions leading the research. So I actually have to wait for this to finish or I'll just pause that and we can review it. So we can go through the same approach again, but we will see right here. So we have the key US trade policies, we have the economic impacts, the EU trade responses, and it's going in 
very much in depth. So we have three different sources right here. We have two sources here, one here, two here. So I mean, I think you get the idea of the instant impact that this can have on companies and your work overall, literally giving you cutting edge understanding of whatever you're asking for without requiring deep research from your end. So it goes without saying that DeepSeek's R1 in perplexity, it's an incredibly powerful research tool and of course automation tool that can, you know, just automate complex research tasks across whatever industry it is, analyze and structure information logically with pretty much zero hallucinations. Uh, I mean, it, it could assist you with coding and business automation. You could summarize news, trends, industry insights in literally in real time and also or rewrite and even humanize some content for let's say readability or engagement if you want to level up your research and business automation i highly recommend trying out deep seeks r1 with perplexity it's the craziest thing i've seen in recent weeks you know it's everything's just getting crazy and crazy we start off with operator at the beginning of the week or early last end of last week then we move into r1 with perplexity so th the game is just constantly changing and you know it's a game within itself just trying to stay on top of the latest trends and what's actually out there and you know just adapting to everything but again try this out for yourself see if you like it or not and also if you're interested in watching more videos like this and learning about the latest trends ai agents automations how to build these systems and everything then subscribe down below and thank you guys for watching again i'll see you in the next video